Seamus, uh, not the result you wanted. What are your initial thoughts after that? Yeah, no, certainly not the result that we come down here for. We came, we came here, we were really well prepared. Uh, we're disappointed, you know, listen, we didn't score enough. We created a great lot of opportunities, just didn't get enough with, like, you know, we targeted to try and limit uh, Mayo to 12 or 13 scores and we, 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 we achieved that, albeit one of them being a penalty. And uh, listen, you know, there was a period where we went down to 14 men there. I think we conceded maybe one, two or three in that period and that was, that was costly for us. But... You know, uh, uh, Mayo's uh, pace from the half-back line, the ferocious pace in the half-back line, the builder, the pace from there. And I thought we could tailor it as well as we could. And, you know, listen, there was only, well, right up on the last couple of minutes, only two points in the game for a period. There was two points in the game for a period and we just couldn't get it back to a point. And I think that was a crucial period, two or three opportunities to narrow that gap maybe to a point or two, but uh, it didn't come, didn't come around for us. You started the second half very well and you just weren't able to build on that momentum you had initially. Yeah, we were happy we were at half time. There was quite a strong breeze there, and you know we had uh, we had a bit of momentum to start of the second half. Albeit we you know, we won the throw in and throw up, and we lost it, and we we went down another point. But you know, listen, we we were happy with that part of it, but ultimately disappointed with the result. You mentioned there about the black card and maybe some incidents in the yeah. game. Uh, that black card in particular, and maybe even a penalty shout later on. Any thoughts on those? Yeah, listen, I, I didn't, I didn't uh, see obviously the video back. Uh, I, I don't know, but the first penalty that Mayo got, uh, you would have seen it. I don't know. Uh, there's big question marks over that was a penalty, but I thought it was a stonewall penalty at the end. And I'll be honest with you, I think we were robbed at the end. I thought the referee and decisions at the end was terrible in two or three scenarios, free ins and very disappointing from our point of view. It's very hard to manage a team when you're coming up against things you can do nothing about. They're out of our control, but we'd be very disappointed. I'm not going to put a toot or not to breast. I never, I never complained about a referee in my lifetime managing. I'm managing 20 years now. I thought some of the decisions was out, off the charts, and we are very, very disappointed. Our dressing, room, our dressing room is very, very disappointed with that, but listen, we'll hold our dignity. Uh, our players are a serious, experienced group of players. The modern players, you know, they have been phenomenal to support, as a modern supporter from I was here, when, I, when, I, when I wasn't managing, there have been a phenomenal group of players to manage, and there will be. They have given they have given Monon people for the last 20 years unbelievable times. I told them that in the dressing room. And times will continue. Monon's in Division 1 in 2023. We're the longest team in Division 1. Uh, we're we'll spending nine years in the next year, or maybe our tenth year, and along with Kerry, nobody else is longer. We're very proud of this group of players. We're very, very passionate about football in Monon, but we're very, very, very proud of our group of players. You mentioned the experience and some of those great players you've had have played a long time. What does the future hold for you and some of those players? You know, listen, uh, there'll be no big decisions made tonight. The, 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 that group of players, you know, yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening to people saying five and six years that uh, these players are finished, and we're listening to that they're finished. And as I said, uh, they have by tooth and nail they've hung on in Division One, and we come down here and we give it everything we have. We give it every single half, and that's one thing with the modern group of players. They will give you everything. I'm very proud of them. The modern people are very proud of them, and they've been a great group of players. There's fellas in that dressing room who uh, made their debut with me in 2007, and and they're still playing, and will be still playing. They ain't throwing in the white flag anytime soon, them men. Thanks very much, Jameson. Hard luck today. Thank you very much.